Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tour or bucket spigot plugin tour. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion on one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment and jump below. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. These people all suggested this plugin. This is Advanced Anti-Cheat, and I ponied up the dough to get this done. It is made by Consolas, and it is fantastic, super active plugin. It works with a whole lot of different versions. It's on the screen right now. Um, Unless you're not on AAC 3.0, if you're running an older version of AAC, you need to get a sp the specific version for the version that you also that you use. In addition, it only works on Spigot, and you need Java 8 Plus, as well as the latest version of Protocol Lib. So you need a little, quite a bit to get it to work, but once it works, it's fantastic. It's fully configurable, automatic in kicking and banning. Uh, by default, it doesn't ban at all, but you know, you kind of want to play with it a little bit. Make sure that you're not going to get too many false positives. So, um, somebody being detected of uh, hacking, but actually a higher ping or something like that, and then they get banned. You don't want that. So, you want to kind of play with this, poke around with it, change some things, see how it goes, and then you can turn on the automatic banning. By default, it's just kicking. And the threshold for a lot of stuff is really high. We'll get into looking at that in the config in a bit. It's super lightweight. You can, you do notice it's going to be there, but it's not going to bog down your server. And it has kind of a pretty cool in-game GUI. It does work with MCMMO, Enchant Plus, Vein Miner, and Token Enchant if you have the Use Explode event set to true. It may not work with other plugins that have any kind of speed edit like kit pvp or other ver parts of token enchant it, uh, it has issues with per world plugins and then bungee cord tab list slash name tag so some of the permissions before we get into it bef by default ops have all of these permissions but you have aac.notify so anybody with that permission note is going to get any notifications or staff chat so they're going to have any notifications of people b being suspected of of uh hacking the they're going to get those messages from aac aac.bypass anybody that you want to bypass those checks aac.verbose is going to be able to see a lot more detail for what's going on from the uh, aac you got aac unban and ban and kick and then the admin which is the admin menu which you'll see in a second and then debug. All right, so first off, you have the AAC admin, which is a pretty cool uh, GUI. You can reload it from here. You can also enable and disable certain parts of the plugin. So I'd highly recommend that if there's a certain check that you don't think you need, that you disable that. And you can disable that in-game here just by going into this. There's a whole lot of stuff in here that you can uh, enable and disable just by that quickly. It's really slick. This I've never seen this as far as like some sort of cheat plugin. So this is really cool. And then you can go back. You can see the violation log for certain players. You can teleport directly to them in here as well. You can toggle and you can enable and disable verbose output. Now I'm not going to show you any of this plugin in action. I don't have the time for that, but I'll put a link in the Jibbles to the author's example of this plugin in action, and it works fantastic for a lot of clients out there, paid and unpaid. It's fantastic. So then you have your AAC kick, uh, which is going to kill, it's going to kick, kill, and broadcast that person being kicked. Then you have AAC unbanned. Maybe a player got banned by a mistake on AAC, you can unban them from AAC, do AAC ban, obviously, then you have AAC debug, and then the player name, which is pretty cool. It'll save a log of that player so you can see everything that's going on for that player and review that later. You have AAC staff notify, and then the message, so that's going to send it out to everybody who has that AAC.notify permission note. It's kind of like a staff chat built in, and then you have AAC message player, and then the message, you can message somebody through AAC directly from yourself. So we'll see that come up. Now, there's not a whole lot else to do in-game here. Let's hop over to the configuration. We are running 1.11.2 in this, the latest version. And we're going to jump into plugins. Now you can see we have that protocol lib in here. And then you have AAC. So we're going to fire up that AAC. And then you have the
the band. This is going to have the list of band players. You have some logs in here, which is fantastic to review later. You have your config. So those logs are going to show every time somebody kind of uh, trips the plugin and then the level at which they they uh, trip it. We'll, you'll see what I mean here in the config. And then you have the language, which is really cool. You can change the way those messages show up to notify players, as well as players who get kicked or warned through the plugin. The plugin actually has a, a combat log section as well, which we'll talk about here in a moment. Let's take a look at the config. Nothing too crazy. I am using Notepad++. That's why you're seeing this color coded. I highly recommend that you do that. The author does a great job commenting what each section does. So I'd recommend that you kind of pick through this, enable, disable certain parts of the plugin. You have to reload it if your plugin is running. You can also lower uh, thresholds to make it a little bit more severe, a little bit quicker, that kind of stuff. Now you can have a certain threshold run two different commands if you put a, a line in there, next line, and then you put that hyphen and then uh, have that go on. Now you're not gonna see any examples in the config, but that's how it goes. So uh, the hitbox, it's gonna uh, give that much lenience, and I'm not sure exactly what the number is, but a lower number is less lenient in there. Um, and then you can have it cancel out hits that are going from an illegal or that the plugin marks as illegal. And then you have your max distance for how far players should reach. And then the threshold. So it's an eight severity eight level. So it's going to check. And then um, as they break this or how bad they break this, this check um, is going to increase the threshold and as soon as it hits threshold it's going to notify everybody it's going to run this command the player is suspected of kill aura so if you want to tie other plugins into this like they lose a coin or something like that you can also put those commands in here it'll run everything just remove that forward slash in there and then player is the variable in there i think that's the only real variable that you have in here and then threshold and it's gonna show there. Now, there's no threshold in here that's gonna kick. If you come down into um, the bad packets, then you're gonna have that AAC kick, and it's gonna actually kick the player going back to those commands that we um, went over. So you can change the threshold. Like I said, the author does a great job at explaining each and everything so you can kind of review it and like i said before i wouldn't recommend making the plugin automatically ban right off the bat you want to make sure that you reduce false positives and that you're not going to accidentally kill or kick or ban your legitimate players um however if the plugin is detecting it's a high likelihood that they are actually using a hat client of some kind um, so let's scroll all the way down. Like I said, there's a lot, a lot of different checks in here for a lot of different kinds of hacking clients in here, um, which is fantastic. Kill Aura is a big one. Um, Heuristics is a lot of extra stuff. You have No Fall, Climb, Jesus, Phase, Fast Use, Fast Break. Like I said, so then you can even check for spams and then you can whitelist certain words or phrases so that they don't trip the spam. And then you can kind of kick them after they've crossed so many thresholds. And you have a, a ban threshold. So you can actually change this by default, it's off, but you can turn this on. And it's how many times a player may be kicked before they're banned. So if they get kicked five times, then they get banned or kicked eight times and then they get banned or, or two or three, whatever you, you want. That's the automatic portion of it. Or you can just kind of like put that in here, increase the threshold and then have the ban for so that they could get banned just for tripping one of those checks, which is pretty cool. And then how many ticks before they can rejoin if they've been kicked. Now here's your combat time. So it's, I believe it's in ticks. So um, the amount of time that they have to wait before they leave the server after they've been in combat. And then uh, you can turn this by true kill loggers. That means that somebody who gets in a fight and then just logs out, they will be killed. And then the player who is fighting them gets all the resources. And then you can turn on kicks being broadcast by default. They're not. However, you can hard code it in each one of them if you use the broadcast command player. And then, uh, then it'll broadcast that message to them. Like I said, um, that's pretty much it in the configuration. You kind of got to take your time and pick through each one, read every line, kind of play with it 
try it out for a day or two and then see if your players are really annoyed with it if they start getting kicked for no reason people that you know that are not or are legitimate players then you can kind of keep modifying that before you turn on banning Let's wrap it up. I'm talk about one extra thing. All right, like I said, the config file is really huge. By default, it gets up and runs. The checks are very forgiving by default, so you can kind of slowly reduce those back and make it a little bit more forgiving. The author does have conditional, uh, an extra plugin for this that does conditional commands so that those commands where it'll kick or ban players, you can actually set it so that it'll check to see what their ping is and what the, the server TPS is. So if the server's starting to run slower, a lot of times the plugin might actually see people as hacking because they'll start they'll start acting fat too fast. Um, so then the, the that'll have a condition in it where hey if the server's having trouble right now don't really kick anybody um i'll probably do that plugin in a little bit later and go in more in depth but the, there's be links in the jibbles all for the example of this plugin in action as well as conditional commands and then spigot user out there has offered some services out there for setting all of this up with conditional commands so you can really make the plugin find hackers even faster and have uh, less impact on legitimate players especially if you have um, players from all over the world with high pings or players um, or a server that sometimes goes low on the tps all that stuff hopefully you found this video help help to help you get up and go and even consider purchasing this plugin is the author is very active in updating it which is fantastic so this is cause reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless uh -oh.